Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Azure CDN with your WordPress website. If you already know how Azure CDN works, you can skip the first part of this video. Now a small explanation on how Azure CDN works. As you see in the picture, user requests a file by using an URL with a special domain name. This can be an endpoint hostname or a custom domain name. The DNS routes the request to the best performing pop, short for point of presence, location, which is usually the one that is geographically closest to the user. If no edge servers in the pop have the file in their cache, the pop requests the file from the origin server. The origin server can be an Azure web app, an Azure cloud service, a storage account, or any publicly accessible web server, web server like a WordPress website. The origin returns the file to an edge server in the pop. An edge server in the pop caches the file and returns the file to the original requester, Alice in this example. The file remains cached on the edge server in the pop until the time to live specified by its HTTP header expires. If the origin server didn't specify a time to live header, the default is 7 days. Additional users can then request the same file by using the same URL that Alice also used and can also be redirected to the same pop. If the TLL for the file has expired, the pop edge server returns the file directly from the cache. This process results in a faster, more responsive user experience. There are some limitations to Azure CDN and the limitations are uh, bonded to the Azure subscription. First, the first limitation is the number of CDN profiles that can be created the number of endpoints that can be created in a CDN profile, and the number of custom domains that can be mapped to an endpoint. I will put a link in the description or in the summary, in summary where you can see the more about the limitations. Well, let's start. First, we go to our WordPress website. We click on plugins. We click on add new. And we search for w 3 Total dash. We click on install now. You can also use a different a caching plugin. I just used this one because uh, I was more familiar with this one, but you can also use another one. Now we go back. We go to the Azure portal. portal. I'm already logged in. We click on create a resource. Next, we search for CDN. We hit enter, we click on create. We search for the CDN that's published by Microsoft. We fill in a name. For my example, I'm gonna use Cinema CDN, something like WordPress VP. Let's choose a description, a resource group. I'm gonna use existing resource group, but if you haven't one, just create one. Next, we choose a pricing tier. For now, I'm gonna go for the standard uh, Microsoft pricing tier. We click on create a new CDN endpoint. We give it a name. I already have my name in place. The great CD, uh, cinema CDN, very original. For the origin type, we choose web app. And we enter the origin host name. I can pick it from here. Let's see. Uh, the great cinema that azure websites.net just check it for to be sure yeah it's correct we'll click on create and we wait now we can go back to our wordpress website we click we see the plugin is already installed we just need to activate it we click on activate it's a big profile so a big plugin so uh, it's a little bit slow and also i'm I'm running my WordPress website on the F1, the free tier. Uh, now we click on performance and we click on generals, general settings. We can enable CDN. We scroll down. Here we click on enable and we choose CDN type generic mirror. We click on save all settings. Now we click here on CDN. 
we scroll down we need to have our host name go back to our, the Azure portal as you can see it successfully is the CDN is successfully created we click on it we click on the endpoint and we copy this endpoint host name we go back we paste it in we remove the HTTPS and we click on test mirror as you see the test is passed and we save all settings now we can test it by going to the order name we can open our developer tools and go to network hopefully we'll, now we'll see that the request will be uh, made to the edge servers Let's see if we can see that somewhere. Just to be sure. Yeah, as you can see, the great cinema cdn.azureedge.net. So it successfully uh, is getting the cache from the edge service. Uh, maybe you will have some problems with some course uh, policy, but uh, my experience with that was that it mostly resolves itself in a short in a short period um, Well, that was it check out my other videos in like share subscribe and leave a comment for any questions or suggestions. Thank you